Hi there. Are you struggling with math or science? Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome and get ready to learn math and science in a way you never have before. Why? Because my goal is not to turn you into a calculator. Those already exist. My goal is to help you develop a mathematical and scientific mind so that you're able to come up with logical steps that will take you to the right solution. If you haven't done so, go ahead and hit subscribe so you can stay updated with the videos I post here for you. In this video, I will show you six tips on how to become better at math. Number one, do not compare yourself to others. I have been tutoring students one-on-one -on -one for a long time, and the number one reason why they think they're not good at math is, drum roll please, confidence. Have you ever said this? I'm not good at math because when my teacher explains something, like everybody gets it but me and I hate math, <laughs> right? And you're just sitting there all confused and frustrated. Truth is that your brain is unique and you can't expect to learn the same way or at the same rate as everyone else. What you can do, and I think you should do, is ask help from someone who did understand and maybe they will explain it in a way that you understand too. You will find out that some of them thought they got it, but they really didn't. <laughs> and that's okay. Number two, have a clear end game for each exercise. Very often, I see students who will read a problem and start working on it, but have no idea what the problem is even asking, as if the answer will miraculously pop up out of the page after a bunch of random steps. And we don't do that with literally anything else in life. Like, you don't just go to the kitchen and throw some random foods in a bowl and then go like, oh, hey, look, a bowl of cereal, right? The first thing you should ask yourself every time you're solving a problem is, what are they asking and how do I get there? Once you define that, then you can start working on it. Number three, read everything and assume only the obvious. Just because something looks like a right angle doesn't mean it is. Unless they explicitly or implicitly say it in the problem, don't ever assume things about the exercise. For example, if they're talking about the measurement of a room, it is safe to assume that all the corners will be 90 degree angles, unless stated otherwise. However, when you have a speed exercise where they give you the speed in one direction, you can't just assume that it'll be the same speed on the way back. Only assume the obvious. This little trick actually will help you a lot when you're learning proofs. And yeah, we all hate proofs. It's cool. Number four, help others who are behind you. Believe it or not, the reason why I'm so good at math, and I humbly say that, is because I help others on a regular basis. You have no idea how much I've learned from my students, and I really encourage you to do the same. After all, if you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. Albert Einstein. Number five, don't memorize formulas. What? <laughs> Isn't that what like math is all about? Absolutely not. Math is about using logical steps to find a solution. Formulas are just a shortcut to those logical steps. Obviously, some are more complex than others and there are a few worth memorizing. But overall, seek to understand where those formulas come from instead of memorizing them. That way, you'll be able to recall it so much easier during an exam and even down the road when it comes up in one of your more advanced classes. Number six, and I think this is the most important of all, do what works for you, always. Unless a problem is very simple, like a one-step equation, there will always be more than one way to solve a math problem. Then do it in a way that you understand what's going on. A good teacher will always show you multiple ways of how to solve a problem, but not so you can memorize all of them, but so that you can choose which one speaks to you. Like I said, your brain is unique. Embrace that. Now, thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful and would like to watch more videos like this one, go ahead and hit subscribe below. And don't forget that you can email me your math and science questions to isabelexplains at gmail.com. I'll see you in the next video.